It's a good looking bike. He shows up. He shows up. He's a great just, you know. And so during the course of the weekend, Jim, tell me when you when you were in high school you broke the high school world record. <laughs> that ain't good. Are you gonna put that on YouTube? <laughs> oh what? What I just said about my nuts being numb? <laughs> Alright, I wanna cut if you make a bunch of money. Now y'all gotta watch it. Alright. See y'all. Well, that was an interesting group of people. That one guy, the older guy, uh, of course can't show him because he's dry, riding off. But uh, he was telling me that he's, he's a bike fitter, had been a bike fitter for about 25 years. Said he's kind of out of it now. But he sends, if he, somebody wants a bike fit, he sends them over to Cycles Unlimited, but they've, they've changed, so. They're A and B. A and B cycles. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get on down the road. This is my first lap. I'm going to see if I want to make uh, two, two today. So I'll get back to the turnaround point and I won't know until I get there. All right. Well, it says it takes super strength to hold your tongue. Wow, that's deep. I don't know exactly what that means, but the words, they do have meaning. We all know what the tongue is. It can get us in a hell of a lot of trouble, or it can get us out of trouble. Here comes a bike rider. Hey, bike rider! Saying hey back would be nice. But maybe she was just focusing on her tongue and didn't want to say hi. <laughs> See, you can't judge people for what they do. <laughs> Because I don't know, she could have had chewing tobacco in her mouth. She could have had bubble gum stuck to the roof of her mouth. I don't know. But I just do what I do. And I let a lot of things just go. So I hold my tongue and it don't take a whole lot of damn strength. It just takes a little bit of knowledge. What's so sad about this damn thing is we got to get old in years a longer <laughs> life expectancy is great for being able to control our thinking now if i knew what i know when i was young and had the ability to go back i hear people say i wouldn't change a thing i change every damn thing because I'm not attached to the outcomes that this, this reality got me to this point anyway. I know these other alternative timelines exist. I know they do. There's a buddy out there that went on to be a professional skateboarder. There's a buddy out there that went on to be a professional BMX bike rider. And then there's one that went on and, and, and became a, a triathlete and a swimmer of great being. And then the one that got hold of the computers right at the beginning of the internet, that buddy went on to be a genius with uh, social media. Maybe that buddy actually invented the YouTube and, and social media. I've been, I've been on the internet uh, since 1998. I built my first website in the year 1998 and 99. Uh, Yep, I still, it's still up. <laughs> I mean, I, it gets a lot of traffic. A lot of people see it, but I don't have no heart to update it. Uh, I'd love to, you know, find a way to sell it or do something with it that will help somebody else. But um, it's about professional wrestling. There was a time that 
I was really into professional wrestling. And then I, it's like anything else. You learn the business and then you realize it ain't what you've been told. It's like this, this ability to hold your tongue or not hold your tongue. It's not what we've ever been told. Even the way we think is different than what the church world tells us we're supposed to think. And then it's conformity that keeps people in a rut that makes them think that they got to do something because everybody else is doing it. Well, hell, that's divide and conquer. The power system that put religion in its place is the actual power structure that's laughing at us today because we can't hold our tongues. Ask Rose, 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 how you say, Roseanne. Ask Roseanne about holding her tongue. Ask her about writing a text. Ask her about, well, don't, don't even worry about what you're going to ask her because you don't even really know. It'd be like me trying to talk to Roseanne. Roseanne, I know you was trying to say something that would actually help people wake up, but it backfired. And so, but out of that, something good's going to come because a lot of what Roseanne is speaking is divine truth. It's a revelation that comes from seeing through the matrix of this reality. And she is proven that she is an awakened being, a person that has left her mind to think for herself. We have to, we have to think for ourselves. It's, to just sit under somebody and listen to a routine that, that is, is, teaches and talks about the same thing over and over and never even trying to grow in the reality of the now, of what it is to the cells, the structures of the atoms. What does it actually mean to be awake in this reality? It is like really hard for me to hold my tongue when it comes to some ways of thinking about this mess that we all are in. And yes, we are all in a freaking mess. You can have everything in one instance. You got nothing. Something that can always steal your peace. But the ability to be able to think is the ability to be able to put yourself back together. And ain't nobody else going to put you back together. Therapy, you got psychiatrists, you got all these people that can give you tips. I remember the first dead gum real psychiatrist I ever sat in front of and talked to. And I was so depressed at about 14, 15. I was in special education and this this man he he said you got to love yourself he asked me he said do you love yourself and I said no I hate everything about me and he said it starts when you love yourself it took a lifetime to realize what hell he was talking about but he did help me he was able to uh, do paperwork that got me uh, classified as dyslexic, legally blind, and I was able to get, uh, at that time there was no internet, but I was able to get um, talking books from the Library of Congress for the blind. And within a few years they even changed that to the blind and dyslexic. So. I was one of the first people in Mississippi. I'd go into a library and, and I, I'd tell them who I was and that uh, show them a card that showed that I was able to get the machine and, and the ability to get the talking books. And uh, they didn't they didn't know who who what they think about me, but uh, that's okay. They can think whatever they want. I read some good books back then. I read, I, I but I wasn't awake. I wasn't consciously understanding that I was creating my reality.
I was missing that piece for years and years. All right, I'm back to thinking of how to end this with holding my tongue. Let me show you this sign again. Yeah. I just... <laughs> one day, one day, leads to another day. And I'll figure out how to hold my tongue then. But right now, <laughs> it's good to be able to speak freely and not have no doubt that none of us know what the real story is. None of us have the true answers to this reality, this world. But the piece that I do know is that Everything in my life that happened for the, from the worst to the best is all right now. And these words that I'm speaking to you right now, I have to speak life to my future. I don't even think about how to get to the future. I just know it's going to be blessed and I got much favor. I know that my body is going to be healed and well and I'm going to become stronger and healthier and I got money coming to me hundreds and hundreds of ways. But I live in the now. And if, if I'm wrong, <laughs> that's a good place to start from right now. Teach me something. Somebody show me. Send me a link that shows me what really is going on. Because I... I'll look you dead in the face and tell you, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I just, I'm like everybody else. I just got to make my head get down so my face looks right. I'm just living the best I can, and I love the best that I can. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's enough. American flag. Hold your tongue, because I can say some things about the flag. <laughs>